Hello everyone, welcome back to the Let's Play series. Today we are going to be making a new farm. And there we have it. Flower farm, all done. That's the end of the episode. Thanks for watching. Bye. I'm just kidding. I made a temporary flower farm for the last episode because I needed to dye wool. So between episodes, I decided to make it a little more permanent and automate it. Here, you can see all of the drops from the flowers come in and get sorted and anything that doesn't get picked up, just keep circling until it does. This is using the same hopper minecart trick that we used for the slime farm. And then everything goes into a bubble vader and up into this water stream. Okay, let me get some more bone meal because some of these dispensers are not full and I'll show you how the farm works. That's probably not enough, but there's plenty more if I need it. Okay. So here we have dispensers with redstone behind them and observers going up to pistons. So then when I switch the lever on, the piston pushes another observer down. And we have four dispensers and I just have a dispenser on the side of the jungle log for cocoa beans because I couldn't think of a better way of doing it. You still need some more. Okay, there's a little bit in here. I really need to get this place cleaned up. No more in there. Okay. Get into the, some of the stock from the Wither Skelly farm. Okay, let's fill this. And break down this other set of bone blocks. Okay, they're all full. And there we go. Plenty of flowers to die. Put this in for the cocoa beans. Let me turn that on to collect everything. Which it did. And here it comes. And it's just slowly making its way around to it collects it all. Okay, turn the collection off, and it all comes here into this little sorting system. And everything that was sorting back here from the bamboo farm, honey farm, and pumpkin melon farm comes in too. Obviously, I took out the villagers. They're sitting in my carts right there. This is all full and needs to be moved over, but I haven't taken the time to do that yet but it just bypasses what used to be there and goes up. I did not remake the cactus farm yet. I'm gonna make it outside in a bigger farm. And I'm gonna do the same thing at the carrot farm. Eventually the pumpkins and melons are gonna be moved out there too. But for now, we're gonna start on the real farm for the day. We're gonna need a lot of supplies cause it's on the nether roof, again. So let's grab all these magma blocks. And if you haven't guessed, it's going to be a gold farm.
Okay, so I ran the farm for a little bit, and it wasn't done so well. So I added a second layer onto it, and now it seems to be doing very, very well. Well, at least well enough for a single player. If this was a server, it would probably need to be a lot bigger or more efficient. But I just need gold for rails and piglin bartering, so this works fine. After a two and a half hour AFK session, I've crafted everything into just over 32 stacks of ingots. Now, we need to get bartering. Um, let's see, which way do I want to build it? Hmm. I don't want to be flying into the back of it when I come from the hub. So let me figure out which way the hub is and I'll come back once I have the sorting system in. Sorting system is finished. Look up here. Um, now we need to get the piglins, which is not going to be fun. I've done this a few times now in different worlds and it never goes as easy as it should. Let's see if I can build a platform here and get them to spawn. I really don't want to build it on the top of the ceiling and then have them walk upstairs. That's just asking for me to get shot. Well, bad news for me, that platform didn't work. Good news for you is you didn't have to see me waste all that time. Look at that. Platforms already produced its first contestant. Let's swoop by and see if he'll follow us. He seems interested. Hopefully he's going to actually come up the steps. Not quite. You know, I never actually put steps on these in any time I do this. That would probably make it easier for everybody. Come on, bud. Let's do this. You're a traitor, Biggie, now. Get in your hole. Just drop. Thank you. Now I'm going to get you 23 more friends. Hopefully. Well... That only took a few hours. For some reason, piglins didn't want to spawn. It kept just being platform after platform full of zombified piglins. And I had a guest spawn. That was kind of terrifying to have happen. Hey, little guy. We don't need you. Might be another one of them around here somewhere. I saw a couple of them spawn. But let me tear this down. And I'll show you how the bartering system I have works. I'm not quite sure if I have 24 in there. I had 24 name tags. I had to go back and get a couple extra because... Well, I forgot that I have thorns on my armor. And a lot of the ones spawning had crossbows. So that didn't end well for them. I would get them almost all the way up the steps. They'd shoot me and... Then they would die. So I went back and got a few more name tags. Have a couple left over. I'm not sure if I have 24 in there or not. Uh, I do know I have tw at least 20 in there. Which should be good enough. Okay, that's all cleaned up. Nothing's laying around, nothing gets spawned here. Let's get the ender chest out and put our good armor back on. I had to go make diamond armor, or grab diamond armor. I already had some from the end. But I had to get that so it didn't have the thorns. Okay. So, if we... Look here, we have all of them in there. Now I need to... Get rid of this trap armor. Okay. I'll block this up so they can't hit me through the corners. And so the gold doesn't pop out. This. Let's 
says there's 18 or so in there. I think it's a couple more than that. Okay, so we have a clock here that dispenses the gold to them at a certain interval so that they don't just drop the gold or it goes past them. So let's toss them in here. Let's actually grab all of this. And we will run this for the first time and make sure it works okay. This is the on switch. Looks like it's working. Okay, yeah, they're trading. So everything goes into the hopper under them and then into the hopper mine cart. And then it goes into this line of hoppers next to me into the sorting system. Uh, the item frames for stuff. Not everything has a filter yet. Some of them are set so there's no filter. Because I'm not quite sure what I want to keep. I set filters for everything I knew I wanted to keep, like obsidian, blackstone, and other quartz. But I have three or four at the end that have the hoppers blocked so nothing goes in, so I can set filters for them in the event that something ends up in the overflow that I want to keep. And then all the potions and books and stuff I'm not storing will end up in the three uh, slots here that don't have any filters. And there's stuff from me making this. I love piglin bartering. Kinda wish I had set this up when I was doing the gas farm. That I wouldn't have had to mine all that obsidian in the end. But I didn't. So. Now we're getting a bunch of blackstone, gravel, nether quartz. So at least concrete making would be a little easier and redstone components. Now if there was only a way to get renewable sand, then I'd be so happy. So so happy. Let's turn this off. Oh, they didn't get through much of that gold at all. Hmm. I thought they were going to tear through that pretty quick. Looks like the hopper might be backed up. That is the only problem with this. If you're using hoppers, it takes forever and it will get backed up. That's why you see a lot of farms using uh, slime blocks and ice to push it across. I just don't feel like trying to deal with that. It's a lot easier for me to just sit here and turn it off every once in a while. There's a lot of good stuff in these hoppers though. Hopefully it means most of it's getting into the sorting system and not ending up going past into the overflow. It's a potion. Well, this is where I'm going to end the episode. It took a lot of time, especially with the piggies. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Have a nice day. Bye.